Ang ganda de, Pascual. Char lang, char. Ano <laughs> ba tanan, baby? Hoy, girl, ano ginagawa mo lately? Eh, di dito, nagbubuhay pro siya. Saan ka ba? Nasa the farm ka ba? Yes. So, I'm at... So, I'm, so naka, I'm in, nakatira ka na talaga dyan. I'm in a farm. Charot. Wait, I'm can you bring eight. me there? When are you Wait, going to bring me there? Where are you, when are you going to bring me to your farm? No. So, here's the deal. Teka lang. Oh, what's the deal? The tea. You know, you're nuts. You are so crazy. Like, I don't you know, even... girl, we are both crazy and I love your face right now. It's so sultry with your hair covering your other eye. So sultry. Am I so sultry right now? Okay. What color is your hair? What color is your hair now, please? Quarantine hair. Look at this crazy quarantine no, hair. I think it's, it's, it's a different color. Is it red? Is so it this red? Is like caramel. I think it's like burnt caramel if I were to I make it. You know, so this I. Hi, kid. I'm so glad. So, um, why, I, why do I feel like I'm so close right now? Um, uh, when I love you, you are because you have a farm. Ka. Like, you are such a good interviewer. I feel like... I feel like that. Oh, mag cheers to that. Because you, you're very generous with your compliments to me, huh? Of course, babe. You know I love you. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Uh, um, so, so, you know, I... The thing is, so during quarantine, di ba, like, I lived, like, I'm so... Ang layo people, mo, lumapit ka sa akin konti, ang layo mo. As this, like, parang independent girl, like, super strong, independent, ganyan, ganyan. And parang I always tell them, like, sometimes I really feel like people think that too much, that they forget that, you know, I always, I always, you know, that all of us, we need someone, right? We need people to, like lean on and we really want to like be able to um surround ourselves with so many people and i love to entertain and i love to cook and i love to entertain and make drinks and cocktails for my friends and you know spend time with family and spend time with my cousins and make new memories ganyan so when i quarantined in my condo sabi ko my god mga mga walls na lang yung mga kausap <laughs> Kulang na ka naman. May, may aso ka kaya. Sama ko. Like, kulang na lang kung mahol na ako. Kakahol na ako. Magbabar na ako. Sabi niya, <laughs> be, uh, sabi niya, sabi niya, sabi babe, ikain mo na lang yung extension ng ECQ. Pero promise, pag natapos to, magkikita na tayo. Dahil baka mamaya nagbabar ka na dyan. Para ito, mong, ito. dogs ko lang yung, yung kausap ko, yung pinagkakabalahan ko. So, when nag GCQ for the first time, I did two things. Okay. I hired a stay-in helper, <laughs> which sabi ko sa sarili ko, I will never do. Kasi 18 years old pa lang ako, tumira, bumukod na ako, tumira na ako on my own abroad. Hindi si Puff yan? Hindi ba si Puff? Puff, Puff mag-hi ka daw. Mag-hi ka kay G3. Hindi ba si Puff yung stay-in helper mo? Oh, I wish nga stay in niya, ne. Eh, but... Oh, pasa si Puff. Hindi ko na nakikita si... I miss Puff. you, Puff. Hi! Oh my God, isa kang hindi tumatandang itsura. Si oh my God, ages. Ay, sa'yo nun? Sino? Si... Hindi siya tumatanda. Bakit ganun? I told her that, though. So, guys, ito yung PA ko of 20 years. Si Puff. Power Puff. Super same itsura. Oo. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Ganda mo pa rin daw. So, she's my PF, ano, 20 years. And ita itago natin sa pangalang Powerpuff. <laughs> Pero she, ano, tawag dito, so stay out siya. Luma lumab life siya nung quarantine. Ang talay! Buti pa siya! Iiwan ako niyan pagdating sa boys. Pero pipiliin niya yung... <laughs> Tapos ako yung parang, so iiwan ako nag-quarantine. Sabi ko, pag nag-GCQ talaga, alis talaga ako ng Manila. There's no way that I'm staying here. And mm. then, um, I ended up going out of town. And you know what? I now have a new dream and a new project, which is to build um, a house kung saan ako titira uh, outside of Metro Manila. So I've decided... Hi, Mark McDowell. Say hi to Mark McDowell. Mark! Oh my gosh, Mark! My love, where are you? I miss you so much. Alam mo, dapat nga kami na lang ni Mark eh. Bakit <laughs> hindi? Pwede naman. Sasabi. Wala ko ba boyfriend ngayon? May love life yan. Ikaw may love life ka ba? 
We love life. Yeah. Hi, Vito. 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 Hi, Vito. So anyway, girl, I'm making... Oh, yes, girl. And I'm, um, for the first time, I'm actually dreaming up my first house that I'm gonna okay. build. And my mom is gonna be so proud of me. Kasi ganyan din siya eh. She's a dreamer. Like, she loves homes. She loves interiors. Ganyan. And nung bata ako, nag-worry siya kung bakit ba daw parang hindi ako masyadong mahilig sa flowers. Hindi ako mahilig <laughs> Yeah, ako mahilig sa mga girly girly ganyan. Tapos, sa somebody told her pag pag ano na pag nagdalaga na yan and then nag, naging woman na yan, magiging ganyan na yan. And ngayon nangyayari yon. Parang I want to build a farmhouse. I want to have like a kitchen and open kitchen with like, you know, a, an indoor outdoor gym and like all of these things. So yan yung kind of project ko ngayon. I'm out of town. I'm not in Manila. Pag dadating lang ako diyan if kailangan ng pagupitan yung dogs ko or wait nakabili ka na ng lupa um ano ba or that's the spot ka na alam mo na may gusto kang location kung saan yung farmhouse mo may gusto yeah. kang location uh, actually um isa yun sa mga sa mga tinatrabaho ko ngayon yan ganyan na so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm I'm so happy. But you're 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 setting your goal on something that is actually very tangible. That's something that will last you, you know, a lifetime. I mean, like I mean, like your mom has a lot of houses. I mean, like I've been to several. But mom always taught me to um. Oh, that because she's also a fashionista, and especially in her twenties, and she had. All of her boutique. Meron siyang boutique. Krista. No, oh so she's like the Madonna, right? Of the Philippines. Ganyan. And True. she always taught me, sabi niya, huwag mong sasayangin yung pera mo on Birkin bags and all of these things as a first collection. Sabi niya, huwag kang magkocollect ng mga Birkin, huwag kang magkocollect ng mga ganyan. You have to save your money. And ang gawin mo, ang first splurge mo dapat is, you know, ganun nga, kung kaya mo is lupa. Yeah. And talagang stricto siya doon. She really made sure na she really made sure na yun yung gagawin ko kasi nagkamali daw siya nang nabalian siya ng buto, ginupit lang daw yung escada gown niya. Trauma, trauma. Doctor <laughs> <laughs> doon sa escada dress niya. Doon daw niya na-realize yung value. Sobrang iconic naman nung anecdote na yun. What an iconic anecdote. Ginupit lang yung escada. Bagay. <laughs> After yung Escada dress niya, nagbalian siya ng buto sa premiere night niya, Richard, Tito Goma. Tapos, parang, alam mo yun, ginupit lang daw ng ganun yung doctors. Wala pa kailan yung doctors sa Escada. Sabi niya, ganun-ganun lang. Never na daw. <laughs> parang sabi niya, see, like, all of these things, di ba? But, like, at the end of the day, di ba? Parang, you don't have anything. So, sabi niya, anak, sabi niya, no matter what, alam mo yun, mag-save ka, mag-commercial ka, mag-commercial, mag-trabaho na, mag-trabaho, and ilagay mo yan sa um, real estate. Real estate. Sa so, mga working girls, di ba na, I mean, of course, these are very hard times. I'm not gonna say this is a, this is applicable to now, it's not. But, you know, um, be wise with your money. I mean, that's something I learned talaga. Like, as an independent woman, I've made my own mistakes when it comes to money. And, you know, we work so hard, especially these days. It's Work is hard to come by. Like, ABS-CBN just shut down. Yeah. These are times. We have families to support. A lot of us do. And it's not a joke when you have some income coming in. So I think now more than ever, diba? like we all have to be super conscious about where we put our our our, our hard spending. Money, our spendings and, and and I think that's something that I really learned during the quarantine. What's really important? Ganon, parang, um and so I think like I never thought I would build a house for myself because lagi ko iniisip na pag kinasal ako, yun na yung time na magbibuild ako ng bahay or something. And um, I think like now, it's so important to be able to grow your own food, to be able to um, do things because you don't know tomorrow's not promised, di ba? Yes, especially now we it's it's become so real to us that everything can end in a, everything can change and end in a day in a split second, right? Diba? I mean, like you've always said that you will build a house when you get married, but I mean, there's no harm in starting to build now, diba? 
how do you see yourself in the future? I mean, like, what are the circumstances that you feel that you will get married? Parang, what are you looking for in a husband, in a potential life partner? I really always, um, I want to, I, I don't know, uh, gosh, this is so hard to answer, but I want somebody who's also able to, um, you know, I, I see myself as a, as a global Filipina. You I are. As a Filipino, I think you're the one who even coined that term before. Like, you know, I, I see myself as like a modern global Filipina. I'm still very much Filipina. Fluent ako sa Tagalog. Fluent din ako sa English. But mahal ko rin. Mahal ko rin yung culture natin. But at the same time, I would like to be with someone na hindi lang Pilipinas ang mundo niya. Or maybe hindi nga siya taga dito eh. Baka taga ibang bansa. Pero pa bansa natin kung sakali. And I think that's more of the type. I, I I have trouble thinking that I would be with a politician and be a politician's wife. You know, I mean, I have trouble with that. I, I don't know that that's the life that I want. But I'm sure it's a wonderful life. Yeah. But I don't know Your mother that... is a politician's wife. Your my mother... grandmother. Wife. My grandmother was a politician's wife. And maybe that's why... Um, you don't I... want it for yourself. Uh-oh. That life, and I think it's wonderful for the women that are in it. I just don't know that it's for me. So I think that you know, I, I would love a very global sort of life, and still a global jet setter life, like somebody who probably you know travels for a living. Travels. Would you be able to um, step back for somebody that who's going to be your husband? Like for example, she yung jet set lifestyle, and you would be sort of like um, ikaw or kailangan you have to be also doing your own thing. I think I would um, like to have somebody that helps me build, that helps me build at the same time that he's building. Somebody that will, um, you know, help me to also explore and see the world. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your type, ba? My type is a fam. <laughs> Case, of course, you have relationships with Filipino guys and you've had relationships with foreign guys, diba? the French man, diba? the French guy who... Um, I never got to meet, but I've seen him in your posts and everything. What is the difference between having a boyfriend who is Filipino and having a boyfriend that is foreign? Uh, hey, Pierre, his name is Pierre. Thank you so much. Pierre, Pierre, Pierre is a wonderful guy. Pierre, I think no matter who he ends up with, if we end up together again or if he's with another woman, <gasps> that no, I'm just saying like. You know, I think Pierre is so wonderful. I have only the best things to say about about Pierre. Um, but I think what the difference is really there. Well, Pinoy's are uh, no, I can't say. I really cannot say. It's between a foreigner and a Filipino because Pierre was so very sweet. He's such a sweet man. Like so expressive, so sweet. Like. I mean, I don't want to even get started with Pierre because it's hard to talk about, you know, why we're not currently together. I think, you know, distance makes it really hard. Yeah. Um, but he is based in Paris. He is based in my second home. And and um, I think you just really have to be ready to take that plunge. Kasi. You really, have really you ever... have to... Sorry, go ahead. Take that plunge. Yes. Have you ever, I mean, like, considered... Maybe... Jot na comment talaga. Oo, lahat sila. Gising na gising silang lahat for you, Casey. My God, this is my highest viewership, I think. Wait, Casey. Ako, ha? Feeling ko kailangan. Hindi ko naman maa mo yan, girl. Pero, girl, naisip ko ba ever na babalik ka ng Paris at doon ka nalang titira? B, of course naman. Alam mo hanggang ngayon. Talaga? Do you think na sa doon ka mag-e-end up sa Paris ka titira? Hindi nakaalis yung isang pa ako doon. Forever nang nandun yun sa Europe. Fair. Hindi na hindi na mawa. Part na siya ng dugo ko. Hindi ko na yun maaalis. Like, um, ang galing eh. Ang galing talaga nung mga tanong mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh. I mean, I enjoy the sign of conversation. Na, na, na ano ako, na-excite ako. Oh. Pero, what it is, is, um, Alam mo yon yung parang I would want kasi I get I I just feel like 
iba rin ako mag-isip. I feel like I have a very um sort of very creative way of thinking, like very different way out of the box way of thinking. Na I can't see myself talaga like na parang limited lang yung life. Yeah. Parang I'm the one who will really allow me to reach other things outside. Yung ganon. Um, so, so I, I honestly, I, I don't know, it's so hard to speak, no? Kasi baka naman may nakikinig dyan na Philippines. Yeah. Pero oh. my God. Parehas. Yeah. What about so, Australia? B, what about Australia? I mean, did you ever consider like maybe going to Australia for Ali Borromeo naman? Na napaka- oh, I mean, crazy. Ano ba to? I did not, of course, I know Ali as an Ascal, but I did not know the extent of his family's wealth. They own Blackmore. Ngayon ko lang, parang recent, parang ila, a couple of years ago ko na lang, so ko, oh my God, what a catch. What a catch. So what was it like being with Ali? Ah. Greetings from Germany. Hi, guys from Germany. Hello, German guys. Maka may irereto kayo sa amin dalawa. <laughs> Sabi no, ano ba yan? Have you considered um, online matchmaking? Like, of not course, I was on Tinder for a while. What about you? Dating, ha? Like, actually, have you considered actually hiring a matchmaker? Can I hire you? <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, I watch Indian Matchmaker on Netflix. Ako din, super. Gusto ko yung girl na wala siyang nagustuhan na guy kahit isa. <laughs> Wait, B. Sagutin mo muna yung nga, Ali Borromeo. What about... I mean, like, di ba parang you were together for a while, and you know, I for I just I found out like maybe I because my my best friend's husband, ah, uh, my best friend's husband works for Blackmore. Tapos sabi niya, oh, ano na Ali Borromeo's family owns Blackmore. Tapos sabi ko, ay bonga, such a catch. I mean, like you're also a catch. Definitely, you're more of a catch. But how how did you feel about how did you guys get together? I mean, it's such a weird. I mean, like hindi naman kasi niya sabi weird coupling, pero. Like, medyo odd. Kasi, di ba, parang athlete and... Well, you were also very athletic din naman. Pero, yeah, how did that come about? I was horseback riding in Polo. Oh, yes! Horseback riding. Ang social social mo, B. Sports na nung bata ko. Yun. And then, oh. ano, nag-ride pa rin ako sa Polo, di ba? So, social. anyway. Okay. I, I was riding in Polo. And then, he came with one of my best friends, Eloise. Eloise Alba, Carvalho. Yung who... mga, mga pangalan ng friends mo, social, no? Eloise. Para Eloise. talaga siyang, uh-oh. You're so funny. Anyway, we were introduced. We're still very good friends. We're still super good friends. Like, we're still able to really, like, talk and and, um, and um, text each other, Ali and I. And, and um, we're good friends. I think, I think like, um... I, I don't know that he is even ready to go to Australia, right? I don't know. But yeah. Australia is a really peculiar mix of like Asia and Europe. So it's it's comfortable in that sense. But I think if I were to be in Australia, you know, like it, it's just, it's, I don't know. It, it would be for me. Ayaw mong, ayaw mong mag, mag migrate to Australia. Mas gusto mo sa Europe, syempre, di ba? European ka eh. <laughs> I don't know, B. You know, I'm not gonna be checking boxes on a piece of paper. I think what's most important is to find the man that is for you. And also, I think that, you know, a lot of the reason, like, I was never ready in my 20s. I was never ready in my 20s to really settle down talaga. Hindi talaga yun yung hanap ko. And I thought when I hit 30 that I would be ready, that I would be, okay, Ali is it. I thought, you know, but... Oh my God, talaga? I mean, I thought everyone was it, di ba? And then parang, ma-realize mo, ako pala yung hindi ready din. Ah, I mean, okay. And, pero, so, yeah. Kasi I, pag-break. You know what? Kasi puro love life yung pinag-uusapan natin. I think naman, the most important thing is to really work on yourself first. Like, mm-hmm. make, do, just keep, keep going, di ba? Like, I think where I'm at now is, I like to just say, Keep going. Keep making your dream new dreams. Tim Yap told me this. This is the time to dream new dreams. Exactly. Yes. And, you know, this is the time to dream new dreams because those dreams are going to be there. The pandemic, let's just say it won't be there forever. Hindi forever to. Mawawala rin yan. And 
um you know maybe a new ano na naman pero itong situation is may end din to and sabi niya just dream new dreams and that's where i'm focused right now it's really being independent of outside of all the relationships i've been with i, I don't parang it's Fun, eh? it's fun to you know make your life and your days revolve around a guy, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the guy will only want to be with you, however interesting your life is. You exactly, also want yeah. interesting life, however way it's possible during a pandemic, so that you give that man an interesting partner. Whatever, however happy you are with your life, will be what he gets. So more than like, oh, I want this, I don't want that, I want this, I don't want that. It's like, no, what do, what kind of life do I want, and what kind of life do I want to share, yeah. so that I enters frame. Yun yung maganda yung eksena na papasukan niya, de ba kung pili ko? Galing galing mo naman. Yon pag on enter frame yung guy, dapat yung eksena ng papasukan niya. Maganda, maganda yung highlight ganon. So, galing, galing mo. What's, oh, oh. what's a what's what's a great insightful, I mean like way to look at things, 'di ba? Parang tama, ayusin mo yung buhay mo, 'di ba? And I mean like we're now shifting into talking about dreams, 'di ba? What for you apart from the kitchen collab and the WWF and all of these um real estate and the farms. I mean, what are the dreams? Of course, those are the dreams within reach right now, but What are the dreams you still have that are uh, maybe further upon the horizon? I mean, after this, I mean, because you're very young. Obviously, you're still very young. You're beautiful. Um, you're vibrant. I mean, I would sexy, love to... sexy, sexy, mo, diba? Parang any guy would be lucky to have you, diba? For for them to come into your life, like you said, and okay, this is what I will add to your life. I mean, that's what I gathered, diba? Parang be somebody that when somebody gets together with you you add to their life hindi yung sila yung mag-add sa life mo is that right that's it because a lot of us women like especially when we're scared of relationships in the beginning like you're always thinking ah ay tsaka yan ay ganito yan ang dami mong masasabi but what about you diba what value can you add to his life are you a are you a are you happy to be around are you are you are you, diba are you going to give him a world that he's better off Like a guy has to be better with you. Like you have to be. I know you're saying he will. He, he has to stop being single only if being with a woman woman will make his life better. And same with you. Why why only why not stay single if your relation not relationship ka nga pero it's a shit relationship. Diba? Sorry, it doesn't enrich you. It doesn't enrich you. Tama. So, you have to also be that. For the person. So before you say, "Ay, itong guy na yan, ganyan, chaka yan," ay malit yung ano niya, yung pitaka niya, <laughs> pitaka niya, or like you know what I mean, para <laughs> you know, because I always hear that from girls and you guys, de ba? Para and I'm just like, my gosh, and dami yung criticism, de ba? But at the end of the day, it's more of what about me? Like, am I a good partner? And would I make him feel safe, de ba? And I'm not perfect. I also have a side to me that's very like guarded, you know. And so I learn a lot from the relationships that I've been in, and you know, especially there's, I know, talaga. Like, you know, you you have a lot to learn about yourself before you can say that you're ready. And that's so, true. yeah, I think I think it's more of okay. I'm gonna focus on my new dreams. I'm gonna focus on how how healthily I want to live my life and how happily I want to live my life, and that's going to make it worth it for whoever man comes into my life. And hopefully, they don't play around with me. And hopefully, I am strong enough to stand on my own and not be afraid to leave if I don't feel like it's it's um it's not the money anymore. But you know, it has to be a long-lasting friendship to begin with. I, I'm, I already, because I am such a hopeless romantic. I am such a romantic that you really have to get out of that ideal thing and and understand that you're do you're gonna do life together. So that's where I've sort of worked with my mental space. You don't look at guys like. 
products or objects. Because women can also objectify men. It's not just the men. Yes, it's fun to objectify men. Char. <laughs> women, strong career women tend to objectify men sometimes. Let's just admit that sometimes that's they have a fun it. hobby. I mean, like, that's my hobby. And it's a fun hobby. But, but case B, tama yung sinabi mo. Like, that's exactly what Corina Sanchez said. Both are idols. Diba, idol natin si Corina? Si Corin. Sinabi niya, if you're not happy anymore, then leave. Diba? What's important is really how you are happy with yourself. And that's exactly what you're echoing. I mean, like, I've had this conversation previously with Karina, and it's the same concept, the same principle. Diba? Na parang you have to be complete and you have to be able to offer. Like, the world, to, hindi ka hahanap ng lalaki, we will offer you the world, diba? You also have to think of yourself and how good of a partner are you, diba? Like, mm-hmm. it's not all about what the person can do for you it's like friends diba? you don't look at friends like oh what can that person do for me it's also ako, it's like oh gosh i'm not a great friend because i don't keep in touch as well as they do but i realize that oh i need to put forth more effort so it's the same with a guy it's like you you know you don't want to always choose a guy what they can do and what they can <laughs> give what they can do for you it's it's also about you and what you know what 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 kind of person what kind of Road they would have pag mentor frame ka din sa buhay oh. nila. Oh. Oh. Tama, tama, tama. Pero kasi right now, diba, it's, it's virtually impossible to be like, maybe meet people. For, ako kasi I'm quarantined alone and I know for a while that you were also quarantined alone and there are a lot of people. Oh, Ha? Hindi ka nagkakapanic attack? Nagkakapanic attack, girl. Kaya nga ako nagkakaroon ng mga ganito-ganitong outlet. But anyway, a lot of people are quarantined alone. And of course, these are the moments when we feel like we need somebody. It would be better if we have somebody with us or maybe quarantined with. Diba? Parang, what are the things, going, having gone through it yourself, quarantined also by yourself, what are the things that you learned that maybe you can tell people who are quarantined alone that will help them? in their struggle, in their everyday, because we're, effectively, we're still on quarantine, diba? So, ano yung mga natutunan mo na pwede mong i-share? It's super hard. I mean, you don't have one person with you. No, I have. Pero ibig ko sabihin, like, somebody that you love. I mean, like, romantically. Girl, ikaw naman, ako, when I say quarantine alone ako, I really mean alone. Like, walang kasang... <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, mag-isa lang. Diba? Kaya, ano nga natutunan mo? Sabi, ang dami. Akala ko kaya ko na. Akala ko, ang galing ko na independent living, ganun. Hi! Ang dami kong hindi alam. It's not just about yung kakayanan mo. Ito pa, ang strong women, strong career women, women they always say, kaya ko naman mag-isa, kaya ko naman. Kaya mo nga. Pero, relationships pa rin are so important. I'm not just talking about partner in life, ha. Yung talagang, what's the quality of the of the relationships around you? And you will see talaga who comes through for you. Like, sino talaga yung sasalba sa'yo pag... Sino talaga yung makikinig pag sinabi mong hindi ko na kaya? Who will really listen when you say, sobrang lungkot ko na? Yung ganon, yung dati, ha. Yung naka-lock-in ako talaga alone. Parang, sino yung talagang magtatanong, kamusta ka na? How are you? And actually really wanna know, di ba? So, I think it's more of um, really cultivate the friendships in your life. Choose who... I mean, I've had... I've made mistakes with friends. I've been betrayed. I've been... I've been betrayed. I've been hurt before by friends, di ba? I mean, we all naman siguro have one experience... I know what you're talking about, of course. I know what you're talking about. Diba? So, it's like, you, like, I've learned to be more choosy with the, with who I bring in my life. Parang ganon. I mean, I mean, yun lang. Yung parang, hindi lahat kakaibiganin mo. Hindi lahat really love you and really care for you. And now, more than ever, you know, you have to also save your energy kasi to, you know, to, to keep yourself to survive, diba? Mm-hmm. I mean, mentally and all of that. It's it's a tough time right now mentally for a lot of people. A lot of people get anxiety attacks. A lot of people have like super major anxiety. And and um and so it's just really more of um you and just just really support 
yourself but don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to reach out yes. and yes. Talk to someone. yes you know don't be afraid to, to say like grabe hindi ko alam gawin to like hindi ko na kaya i need i need a break can you can you come get me or you know don't don't think that you have to do it all don't think that you have to wala anong pinapatunayan mo de ba like you don't be afraid to say pagod ka na don't be afraid but always pick yourself up always say okay i'll try again always keep moving and and find inspiration talagang see the good pray a lot pray yes. like i mean ako i'm a, i'm i'm a believer you know and i pray there for me for me there is a god for me yes absolutely absolutely yeah. that's i think that's what this pandemic also proved diba you are not in control and there is a higher power i mean that's watching over all of us diba have to also see life that way it's not all about facts and science there is a spiritual side to what's going on right now in the way that you need to survive it's also a huge spiritual drive that will get you from point a to point b where point b is a really good place to be so in lang i think i think it's i think that my way of coping was to finally get out of manila kasi sobrang pressure <laughs> when so near each other sa building ko parang left right up and down ko mart wheel ka there's a there's a case somewhere and it's like wala na akong makita kung may mga dingding ko so i said bakit hindi nila ako magbuhay probinsya i left <laughs> and um and i did Casey's closet to help people purchase you know affordable clothes that are really from my closet or from you know the second hand there's re- it's a resale shop it's Casey's closet or and this is Casey's closet and you know you can get affordable clothes there you don't always have to buy retail price you know so you yeah, know and that's moving there's a weekly release and people can find like shirts pants dresses bags shoes and things there and it's going to be more affordable than the brand like retail price talaga so this is Casey's closet is there just keep busy don't It's so hard that eh. some people are are really not doing well. Some people are starting to do well. It's it's don't pressure yourself. Leia Salonga in your show said, "Exist in the nothing." Exactly. Like, when it's there, you have to learn to exist in the nothingness, and then eventually, you will feel mo na lang yon na. Sabi ni Ate Juday sa akin, "Babe, you will feel mo na lang yon pag ready ka ng kumilos kilos at gumalaw galaw." You you will be willing to move and do something. Mafe-feel mo na lang yun pag kailangan mo na gumalaw galaw. <laughs> so, yun. I think, Case, more than anything, you have an arsenal of great people behind you that really want you to, I mean, do well in life and that we're all behind you and we, I mean, like, quietly, silently, we watch your steps and I'm so proud of you. Can I just say that I'm so proud of you of everything that you are doing in and out of the pandemic? I mean, ngayon, I can see that the things that you are doing, the kitchen collab, Casey's Closet, and now the dreams of a farm. And I mean, like, you have so many things on your plate and you still manage to give me the time and two hours at that. I mean, I just want to thank you for valuing our friendship so much that you would trust me with everything that you told me and everything our viewers learned from you i mean that's there's so much wisdom you've always been a smart girl obviously but i mean the wisdom that has grown inside of you through the years of course i met you when you were in your 20s and now you're in your 30s diba parang it just makes me feel so proud i mean i don't mean that in a ate or whatever way but like when i look at you i mean i just see how much you have grown And for you to be able to speak to me and talk to me with so much honesty, and people are going wild, de right? ba? I mean, it's <laughs> fucking midnight, and we have one thousand six hundred whatever viewers, de ba? Right? So I just want to thank you, Case. And I mean, like, as a as a closing, siguro, de ba? Right? What are the things that you look forward to when this is finally? And how do you see our future? I mean, the future of the Philippines, the future of. I mean, every single relationship that we cherish, diba? I mean, this is gonna be here for a long time, obviously. Bill Gates said it's gonna be until maybe 2021. So, what are the things that you feel that we can look forward to in the meantime? Honestly, with the whole thing about the Philippines, oh God, 
no one knows you know honestly no one knows i i all i have to say is i really want to love my country but sometimes it's just not easy right now girl and with you with that yeah but i do love my country very much because i'm filipina it's in my blood um but i think that what there is to look forward to is diba dati ang nirereklamo mo wala akong oras gusto ko nang magpahinga kahit one day lang ganin ganyan or gusto ko nang time gusto ko naman ng time para naman maayos ko yung yung buhay ko para naman maisip ko yung finances ko paano ko naman iisipin yung mga pera-pera ko kung wala naman akong time mag-isip trabaho ng trabaho and now we have this time we have everything we were complaining about complaining for we have it we have our time people have time with their families people have time for their children people have time for their husbands their wives people have even time now to work and work from home and sometimes it's harder for some people sometimes it's easier but we have all this time to even for me to i'm more creative now that we're still and there's no there's no like hustle and bustle so much diba so i think it, it's actually i mean i i really feel for the people that have lost loved ones due to this pandemic I mean I I lost my grandmother on my father's side just a couple of weeks. Yeah. My sympathies. I saw your post. Thank you. The hardest part was, you know, um not seeing the family and not being able to gather. So I think emerging from this, I I really do hope that there is a true vaccine for this. I mean apart from that I hear that there are cures now and treatments, but it's just the fact that people started to live simpler and started to really reflect and reset i think that was amazing for us all we were going way too fast and i couldn't even keep up <laughs> with the world and i'm only in my 30s you know so it's great i mean at the end of the day um life has to go on I, I was told on the phone today, um, Tito Naresh, he's, he's an Indian businessman, very successful. And he said, KC, don't work too hard, you know, don't, and don't worry so much about this, this, this situation, you know, it's like, just remember, just think that you'll get better, you'll get better. If you get it, you'll get better. And don't even think you're going to get it. Just live your life. You have to live life and life has to go on. We still have lives to live, you know. So... That's why I will keep playing dress up and I will keep communicating. Yes, please, please. I enjoy it. Cooking and learning how to cook from my friends who will teach us how to cook and as much as possible, you know, just keep dreaming new things and keep moving forward, onwards and upwards. And whatever it is you go through, keep going with a positive mindset. Just go through it and don't give up. So that's that and i think it is almost midnight <laughs> i i cannot believe that we've talked this long and there are so many gems in everything that you said and i just want to say that you look so happy i think you're happy are you happy i mean i'm excited about this future house i'm building <laughs> <laughs> i would i want to see it ha i want to see it and i want to be able to Taste the food that you will cook. Kasi ginaya ka na ni Selena Gomez. Nakita mo ba yung kay Selena? Ginaya ka na rin niya. Nauna ka, in fairness to you, nauna ka talaga sa kitchen ko lang. Thank you. I mean, you know, WME is, is her agency and I'm sure that they're, you know, a very good agency to have. So anyway. Um, That's true. B, thank you so much for this time. I, 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 I missed you and I love conversing with you. You're one of the smartest best writers, hosts, and thinkers out there. Thank you for knowing me and spending your time and also helping me find myself in the very beginning that I entered this world of entertainment. And and I will never, never forget Paris to Pinas and all of the things. So hopefully we get to work with each other soon or see each other soon. Definitely, definitely. Right back at you, B. And I will never forget how you treated me in Paris. You made my first time in Paris very memorable and every time we spent together and okay I'm it's always midnight so what 
hesitate to call. What? I'm always here for you. Don't hesitate to call. I will. I will take you up on that. And I love you so much, B. I mean, I've loved you for a long time. And I just want to say good night. And I love you over and over. I love you too. Thanks for having me, babe. I had of so much course. fun.